I was actually going to ask you about the Amir, um, you know, his fight with Devin. What do you think about that match? Oh, well, most certainly it's a tough, tough matchup. And, um, you know, we have to be very careful about the things that we do to make sure that we What have you seen um, in Amir in these recent training camps uh, in his last fight with Colazo that tells you that you know he's ready for the biggest of stages? Well, you know, he's already been on the big stage, so to speak. Uh, he hasn't been on the large stage, but he's, he's been on some big fights. And um, I think his willingness to learn and his willingness to get better uh, uh, come along with the actual ability that he has, the gifts that he has, and uh, the determination that he has and the dedication that he uh, showed uh, that he's certainly there just as much as anybody else. What's it like having him in camp? Um, I mean, do you see him outside of the gym, or is it just usually in the gym when you see him? I mean, what kind of you know energy does he bring in there? Well, when they're in camp, you know, I see them uh, not just in the gym, but outside the gym, whether it be having uh, dinner or stopping by his place or vice versa. Um, but the energy comes from the attitude. You know, and he, and he displays a good attitude, and that's that's where you get the energy from. Any coach who, I believe, gets the right attitude from an athlete, and uh, that creates energy and that interaction. So, um, I'm very much energized every time we, we work together and pre uh, prepare for a fight because you know, I realize that there's an opportunity to not only be competitive, but an opportunity to win any fight that he's in. Ch changing it up then, uh, giving respect to Devin Alexander like you did, what does make Devin Alexander dangerous? Why is he such a, a, a threat to you guys? Well, because he has, a lot of, he has a lot to look forward to. Also, when you get two fighters in this position, they're, they're both young, they both have the pedigree, uh, well, he has a lot to look forward to with the victory also. A victory can't do anything but just continue to take him up. And, I mean, he's been to the mountaintop, so certainly he knows how to get back. So he's been to the mountaintop. Got you. Um, yeah.